Hello and welcome to the channel. This is Tuesday's tool review and uh, the tool in question this week that I purchased is this Metz Shrinker Stretcher. Um, I already have the foot operated one. I was in the market for another one and I've got this one just so I don't have to keep swapping the drawers over if I wanted to go to stretch a piece of material. So this is online for 160 quid. Now stretching and shrinking with metal is really important when it comes to fabricating uh, little pieces on your car bodywork uh, or your restoration project. It's a really important bit of equipment if you want to progress in, in metalwork basically. So let's see what this is like. I've never used this one before. Always use the foot operated one which I highly rate um, and, and love. I use the Bailey one at work and I've got to be honest, I think the Mets one's better than the Bailey one. So let's see what this one's like. Okay, so a couple of things to point out first. Um, there are a couple of threaded holes here. This is so it can go on a stand um, and be turned into a foot operated one, which would probably be easier, but then again, it's more expense. Um, so it will be mounted in a, a vise. So you just do it up tight. There's some marks there where I've already put it in just to see what it was like. So I shall put that in the vise and do my um, test piece from there. Okay, so this is it mounted in the vise, it's all done up tight. Uh, one feature I do like this, uh, I think you can get a version for around a hundred pound, uh, but it doesn't have this opening here. So you can get further into your panel, which is a good feature. And I'd probably say it's definitely worth spending that little bit extra if you've got it um, and getting this model, which is the one up from the basic one. Okay, so my first sample piece is gonna be this uh, bit of one mil mold steel. I've literally just put a 90 on it. Um, haven't used this machine yet, so this is the first time I'm gonna try it. So let's see how it goes. Okay, so it shrank that bit of material around. I've got to be honest, that was quite hard work. But I think that might be down to the short handle and you can't put as much leverage on it. But it's done that quite nicely. Okay, next piece I've got is some 1.5 aluminium. There you go, nice finish on there. As expected though, aluminium is easier to form, so it's done that quite easily. Okay, I've swapped the jaws over, so now I'm going to stretch this material and get it back straight. Okay, so that's definitely worked. Um, a lot easier to stretch the material rather than shrink it. It doesn't need as much force through the machine and it's worked pretty easy there. Okay, so I do it on a piece of aluminium now that I've done earlier, just so it's a fair test and you can see. Again, straighten that out very easy. Okay, so let's do a final roundup of this. 160 quid, I think it's a great price. 
So you don't get much uh, in the line of metalworking tools for uh, cheap money nowadays. So 160 quid for an important piece of equipment that you're definitely going to be using when you come to make your panels and stuff like that. So price is a thumbs up from me. Um, you get both sets of jaws, uh, which is great. You've got the option of putting it on a stand or you can make your own stand. I know a few people that have. So that's good, definitely advisable. It does make the job a lot easier. A um, couple of little things that kind of bug me. The, the handle could do with being a bit longer, but that's just me being a bit picky. You know, a longer handle, you can apply more leverage, makes the job easier, you know. But I understand with packing and stuff like that, you're gonna need a bigger package to send and stuff like that to that come to his problems. Um, the jaws, just, they're a little bit fiddly to change over, but they are the, the basic jaw sets that you get on trinket stretchers. You know, I think I timed it at around three minutes to swap the jaws over. So not a, a great hardship. Uh, with the option on the uh, better trinket trinker stretcher, um, it's just one simple Allen key. You change it over within seconds, but then you are spending, I think close to 400 on something like that. So you do expect it to be better. So all in all, it's, it's a great little tool uh, for the price. You know, it's gonna be handy in the workshop. I'm gonna set this one up on uh, stretching and then have this one on as uh, my shrinking one. So hopefully that just speeds up a few of the processes within the workshop and uh, a great little tool to have. So it's a thumbs up from me. Um, and yeah, I definitely recommend it if you are in the market and don't want to spend big money on a shrinker stretcher. So that's pretty much it for this video. Okay, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Ciao.